From the Transformer album, Lou Reed and Makeup, that's something we just said. <clears throat> you said the song was about people that you knew in the scene around you. Do you feel like compelled to be the spokesman for that scene or to do any special pleading for it? Oh, no. No. It's just where you live? Just your environment? Yeah. You see yourself as like court composer? Court composer? No, it's just, uh, you know, you write a song. You're just sitting around one and you write a song. And it happens to be that. I've had people tell me good night ladies is about like uh, saying good night in a gay bar, you know, which I thought was really far out interpretation, you know. But I wouldn't interpret it in the way I meant it, because if that's what that song means to some people, then that's fine with me. You know, I never thought of it that way, but if that's the way it ended up, that's I hear you okay. saying that you never think about these things, your consciousness of what people will think about these things. And, um, with all due respect, I can't help but think that you're... you're either you're um, loving putting people on with that line, or um, you're dangerously psychotic, one. Because um, it's, <laughs> it's clear that you know that if 80% if 80 of your songs have to do with sex, dope, homosexuality, or glitter in one way or another, like, you know that that's, you know, people are going, oh, he just happens to be writing these songs, man. I, you know, eight out of ten of them happen to be about that, but, you know. Well, I never said I wasn't a little twisted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, take somebody like me and those kind of songs come out. I mean, I thought a, a way funnier song was Lonesome Cowboy Bill on the Loaded album, but no one picked up on that at all. That album still is uh, pretty much unknown to most people. Buck and Bronx and Sip and Wine, you want to see him go? Buck and Bronx, I said, oh, if they don't catch that, they just don't deserve it. you know. And no one did. No one heard it. I said, all right, yeah, onward, you know. But that's a street argo that people either know or don't know, and if they don't know it, they ain't going to learn about it from a song that they may hear at a party. Well, I, you know, I, I, the tagline was, and all the 10-gallon girls like to see him yo lay yo ho <laughs> I mean, it couldn't have been, you know, to my mind, more blatant, you know, but guess not. You know. Do you um, relate to... If you listen to that song in that respect, at the tempo it's done, it's one of the funniest things in the world. Guaranteed. Let's play.